grace and peace be unto you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, I want to share with you a message of hope and encouragement, a message that calls us to relinquish our worries and anxieties, knowing that our God is actively working on our problems. In times of uncertainty and tribulation, it's easy to succumb to the weight of our concerns. However, the Word of God reminds us to cast our cares upon Him because He cares for us. 1 Peter 5 7. As we navigate the challenges of life, it's essential to understand that our God is not distant or detached from our struggles. Rather, He is intimately involved in the intricate details of our lives. The psalmist declares in Psalm 139, 1-3, O Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my thoughts and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. God's knowledge of us is not mere awareness. It is a deep and personal understanding that transcends our comprehension. He sees our struggles, knows our fears, and is acquainted with our pain. The assurance we find in these verses is that we serve a God who is not indifferent to our circumstances, but is actively engaged in the details of our lives. In Matthew 6, 25, 34, Jesus implores his followers not to worry about the necessities of life. He draws our attention to the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, reminding us that if God takes care of them, how much more will he care for us, his cherished creation? Our worry adds nothing to our lives. In fact, it can hinder our faith and trust in God's providence. The Apostle Paul, in Philippians 4, 6, 7, provides us with a practical guide on how to deal with anxiety. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ. Jesus, prayer becomes our means of communication with the Almighty. And in presenting our concerns to Him, we experience the peace that transcends human comprehension. Moreover, our God is not confined by time or limited by our understanding of how and when things should unfold. His ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Isaiah 55, 9 In our impatience, we may demand quick solutions and immediate relief. But God's timing is perfect. As we wait on Him, we are reminded in Isaiah 40:30, one that those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Scripture is replete with examples of individuals who faced seemingly insurmountable challenges but experienced the miraculous intervention of God. Consider the story of Joseph, who endured betrayal, slavery, and imprisonment, yet ultimately saw God's sovereign plan unfold for his good and the salvation of many. Genesis 50:20. What Joseph's brothers meant for evil, God used for good. Likewise, the story of the Israelites in the wilderness demonstrates God's faithful provision. Though they faced hunger, thirst, and uncertainty, God provided manna from heaven and water from the rock. Exodus 16, 17, 6. Their journey was a testament to God's sustaining power and His commitment to leading His people through the wilderness of life. Beloved, our worries and anxieties are not too insignificant for God's attention, nor are they too overwhelming for His control. As we cast our cares upon Him, we acknowledge our dependence on His wisdom, power, and love. In doing so, we align ourselves with His sovereign will, trusting that He is working all things together for our good. Romans 8, 28 let us actively cultivate a spirit of gratitude in the midst of our trials, for a thankful heart is a powerful antidote to anxiety 
As we approach God with thanksgiving, we shift our focus from our problems to the one who holds the solutions. Gratitude enables us to see the fingerprints of God in every circumstance, recognizing His goodness, mercy, and faithfulness. As we delve deeper into the understanding of God's sovereign care, let us explore the profound stories of individuals who encountered challenges, yet witnessed the unfailing hand of God at work. Consider the life of Moses, a man chosen by God to lead the Israelites out of slavery. Moses faced numerous obstacles, from confronting Pharaoh to navigating the wilderness. But through it all, God demonstrated His power, providing guidance, sustenance, and protection. In Exodus 14, as the Israelites stood trapped between the Red Sea and the pursuing Egyptian army. Fear gripped their hearts. Yet God, in His sovereignty, parted the waters, creating a way of escape that defied human understanding. In our lives, when we encounter seemingly insurmountable obstacles, we can trust that our God, who parted the Red Sea, is able to make a way for us the story of David and Goliath is another testament to God's sovereign care. Faced with a formidable giant David, a young shepherd stepped onto the battlefield armed with faith in God. Despite the odds, he triumphed not by his own strength, but by trusting in the sovereignty of the Almighty. Likewise, in our battles, big or small, we can rely on God's sovereign care. Knowing that the victory belongs to Him, in the New Testament, we find the story of the woman with the issue of blood. Mark 5, 25, 34. For twelve years, she endured suffering and sought healing from countless physicians. In a moment of faith, she touched the hem of Jesus' garment and was instantly healed. Jesus, aware of the healing power that flowed from him, assured her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. This story illustrates how God's sovereign care extends to our physical and emotional healing. Our faith may include periods of waiting, similar to Abraham and Sarah's longing for a promised child. In their old age, when all hope seemed lost, God fulfilled His promise, demonstrating that His timing is perfect and His plans are beyond our understanding. As we wait on God, we can find comfort in the assurance that He is orchestrating every detail according to His sovereign purpose. The life of the Apostle Paul exemplifies resilience in the face of adversity. Despite numerous trials, persecutions, and imprisonments, Paul maintained unwavering faith in God's sovereign plan. In his letter to the Philippians, written from prison, Paul expressed contentment and joy transcending his circumstances. This teaches us that God's sovereign care is not contingent on favorable conditions, but is steadfast through all seasons of life. Dear friends, in embracing the truth of God's sovereign care, we discover a source of unwavering strength, peace, and hope. The narratives of those who have gone before us serve as beacons of encouragement, reminding us that our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. My dear brothers and sisters, let us embrace the truth that God is indeed working on our problems. Our worries and fears need not define us, for we serve a God who holds the universe in His hands and knows the number of hairs on our heads. Luke 12, 7 as we surrender our concerns to Him through prayer, patience, and gratitude, we position ourselves to experience the transformative power of His sovereign work in our lives. May the peace of God... Dear friends, if you found these words helpful, it would be wonderful to share them with your family and friends. Now, I encourage you to listen to this meaningful message from Jesus Christ. My beloved child, peace be unto you. In the midst of life's storms, I come to you with a message of love, hope, and reassurance. As you go through the ups and downs of life, I want you to know that you are not alone. I am with you, always, and my love for you is boundless. 
In the Gospel of Matthew, I spoke these words to those who sought solace in the face of worry and anxiety. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. My invitation remains open to each one of you. Bring your burdens, your worries and your fears to me, and I will provide you with the rest and peace that surpasses all understanding. Worry not about tomorrow, for each day has enough trouble of its own. I understand the challenges you face, and I want you to trust in my sovereign care, just as I provide for the birds of the air and clothe the lilies of the field. So will I care for you, my precious children. Have faith and cast your anxieties upon me, for I genuinely care for you. In the Gospel of John, I declared, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Be of good cheer, for I have conquered the world, and in me you find everlasting peace. Hope is the anchor for your soul, and I am the source of that hope, even in the darkest moments. Remember that I am the light of the world, shining brightly. I understand the weight of your concerns, but I encourage you to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Your heavenly Father knows your needs, and I am here to guide you, provide for you, and bring purpose to your journey. Let your hearts not be troubled, neither let them be afraid. I am the Prince of Peace, and I leave you my peace, a peace that the world cannot give. It is a peace that surpasses all understanding and guards your hearts and minds. In me, in times of uncertainty, hold fast to hope, for I am the anchor of your soul. Trust in my love, walk in my peace, and let not your hearts be troubled. I am with you always, even to the end of the age, with love beyond measure, Jesus Christ.